from uh, that sort of horsepower to a different sort. It's not just the Rugby World Cup that's getting serious today. It's also another, another big weekend for a different sort of rugby game on horseback. It's called Horseball and the British Open Championships are taking place this weekend. They're all watching, so good morning to the horseballers. And I went to see them and put what happened last time I was on a horse behind me and went for along for the ride. It may not be Twickenham, but this arena in Warwickshire is the equivalent for the teams that play their rugby-type game on horseback. It started with the line-outs, and although the ball is round, the teamwork and passing are similar to the tactics in rugby and basketball as you make your way towards the goal. Oh, when your adrenaline's pumping through you, you see horses galloping alongside you, people reaching on you. It really gets your heart going, and that's what I love about it. One of the sports this originated from is Peto, one of the national sports of Argentina. First played in the 1700s when they used a live duck, and it was then banned because of the high mortality rate. Thankfully, the modern game of horse ball uses a ball with six straps, so you can really get a grip of it. And the rugby element was introduced by a Frenchman. A guy called Jean-Paul Dupont, he was a riding instructor and rugby player and he brought the sort of some of the elements of rugby like the line out and how you pass the ball uh, to the game. But unlike rugby you can pass the ball in any direction as you've seen. Now if I'm looking rather worried here it's because the last time I was on a horse it misunderstood me and I was thrown off. What's more many of these are ex-race horses enjoying a new lease of life and in horse ball your stirrups are tied together under the horse to enable you to swoop down off your mount or to pick up a loose ball. It can take months of practice. It's basically a case of conquering that fear and that thing that you're going to fall off. And you go all the way down here, hold on to here, I'm told. Almost upside down. But of course, you've got to do this normally at speed. And there we are, we've got it, we've got the ball. Can we get back up with a bit of help? Wow, what a skill that is. It's really difficult. You think, ah, I'm going to do this. But when you're in the game, you just go for it. You think, oh, I want the ball. And you just go down and try your hardest to get it. <laughs> so first it's back to basics and learning to ride without using your hands. Two hands. Oh, sorry. Two hands. There we are, That's trotting. It, Anybody. Go for the pass. Over there. I'm back. The other skill you learn is tackling, so I've got the ball. And look, <laughs> barging is allowed. Oh, you've gone around the back. Oh, you've got it. Okay, fair enough. That wasn't too hard. But you can see, yeah, you can see how you get the ball out of someone's hand. Beginners like myself may be left in the wake of the teams playing in the Open Championship this weekend or in the World Cup next year, but all abilities can learn this different style of riding and quickly feel part of a team. Go on, give it a go. Even if you haven't got much riding experience, I've just shown that it is possible. Mm. Go to the Horseball UK website and find out where your nearest club is. They're, 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 like that one, they played a lot of uh, rug, uh, polo clubs, actually, rug, rugby polo club. I think someone needs to go lie down again, get some new teeth in there. <laughs> It's funny away. you have to go on the back of a horse. <laughs> yeah. It looked yeah. like fun. It there are many restored. around the country. They're usually polo clubs that do That's it. what I'm trying to say. OK, and it's you like can go to the web... Club. And, exactly, and you can go to the, the website polo club to look in it rugby. Well, near rugby. Got yeah. it. OK, what now a big we rugby understand. weekend, that's the problem, isn't no, it? Now we <laughs> understand. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mike. Thanks.